think our leadership doesn't get it. They've made a mess. Dr. James J. Zogby is founder and president of the Arab American Institute, a Washington, D.C.-based organization which serves as the political and policy research arm of the Arab American community. Dr. Zogby discussed American policy in the Middle East in a speech entitled, The Mess We Are In. But these ideologues, they actually believed that they didn't need plans because it would all fall into place. An apocalyptic vision, it's called. It didn't work. And so we are ground down in a country we don't understand, don't know how to get out, don't know what comes next. And our kids are paying the price, and our image is paying the price. In the countries most closely allied with the United States in the Middle East, our favorable rating never breaks 10. That's really bad. Those are horrific numbers. And frankly speaking, the attitude toward our people and our values and our culture is also down. And it's because after three years of seeing all of this, they're not liking us so much anymore either. What you have to do is actually make peace happen. And America has the ability to do it. Here's what I do. I do, first of all, what President Bush, W. Bush, has done. I project the vision two states. But I would tie that to what Bill Clinton did, which is lay out the plan that he laid out too late in his administration in the last three weeks that helps you get to that vision. See, Bush laid out a vision, but no plan to implement. Clinton laid out a plan too late in his administration, but he didn't say where the plan was going to end up. And thirdly, you have to do what Jim Baker did in the previous administration. You have to put the muscle of the United States evenly behind both parties and pressure them to make it happen. You have to let them know there's nothing else on the table, there's nothing else going to happen. This is the only, because see, this is bigger than Israel and Palestine right now. This is not about Israelis and Palestinians, this is about us. It's about Americans dying. It's about America's treasury being drained. It's about America at risk. It's about our allies at risk. This is bigger than Israel and the Palestinians. It's about America. We have to stand up for who we are and demand that our leadership be principled. 